Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see formatting in Excel. So let's start. So here I am selecting some sales and merge and center. Click on merge and center from alignment group of home tab. The sales lines are merged. Now here we can write title. To increase size, I will drag this line down. Or we have one option in format group, row height. With this also we can increase size. My title is mark sheet. Next, roll number, name, English, Maths, Science and Total. These are my column names. I want to merge this till total. So select till F and double click on merge and center. This is merged. Now select here some rows. How to select? Just click on the cell and drag down. This is selected. In Excel to do any changes, we have to select the cells. So my cells are selected. Now I will apply here border. Font font group all borders. The borders are displayed here. Next thing is we will change here font. I want to change here Algerian. Size will be 22. Now see these columns. Column heading is inside the border. So what to do? We can increase this column by right clicking or just simply select this all columns. Format column width here right 20. Same way to increase row height. Select all rows. Row height 35. Now my rows and columns are increased. Now I want to change font color. Choose any font color. And this is highlight color. For this row, I will take this highlight color for title. Font color will be white. And this I will increase. For second heading, I am going to select this highlight color. Now I want to write here numbers. Select these two number, take the cursor at corner and drag it down. This is autofill. We learn in the first video. Now name. Okay, marks filling is done. Now observe this sheet. Here, whenever we are writing number in Excel, that align is right and text align in a left. This is a default alignment in Excel. But I want to take this all in the center. So select this all and go to alignment group of home tab. Just select center. So now whole text is in the center align. And this is middle. So now our formatting work is done. We will calculate this total. To calculate total, select these numbers and click on auto sum button in editing group of home tab. Total is displayed. Similarly, we can select second cell also, but we already learn auto fill. So we will fill with that. Just click on this first cell and drag it down. Total is filled. Next way to calculate total. Click on the cell where you want to calculate total and click on Auto sum. Computer is selected this range. Is that range correct? Check in the formula bar. Sum is equal to C3 to E3. C3 means English and E3 means marks of science. So it is correct. Press enter. Again drag down. Third way to calculate total. Type here equal to. Then type formula. If you want to add one row at the top. Select the cell and click on Insert button in sales group, insert sheet row. The row is inserted. Where it is inserted? Above your cursor. My cursor was in the first row and now this displayed at the top. Similarly, to insert new column, select the column or click on any cell and insert sheet column. New column is inserted in the left side of your cursor. This same thing we can do by right click also. Right click, insert entire column. Now these two columns are extra and I want to delete this. So select this column by clicking on the column heading and delete. Delete sheet column or right click in that column and delete. Similarly, we can delete row also. Entire row. If you want to calculate average, then next column average. Now change the formatting for this all. How to do formatting? Click on the formatted cell and click on format painter. This will drag same format. Now click below the average and the same button, auto sum button, average option is there. Check the sale range computer has selected. Average is equal to C3 to F3. But F3 is a total. And we are going to calculate average of marks, not of total. So we will change this. Only C3 to E3 and enter. So this way we can calculate average. Now here one change required that merge till G. So select till G and double click on the merge and center. Done. If this is useful for you, then like, share and subscribe.